Good afternoon, this is Minister Paul. It is 12.55 p.m. Pacific Standard Time in Northern California on July 10th, 2012. Uh, I almost feel like I want to go on a rant, but that's good. <laughs> Praise God for the joy, amen. Um, and because I really, it's a different, um, there's a whole bunch of things that are occurring right now, both in my ministry, and in my home, which I'll, I, I, I got to learn to separate the issues. Understand? There's a lot of stuff on YouTube that's really disturbing me, uh, and, and I'll go into a couple of couple of them. I, I mean, I want to do this sermon on just the four chapters, uh, four verses. I want to address this situation and my experience with it. But but first, I got to wade through. I mean, can I just be real with you today, as I always am? I got to wade through the nonsense of YouTube. I just unsubbed from a channel of someone who claims to be a Christian. Uh, all they do is really put out news. Well, recently they took a, a, a video from Pastor Paul Begley's and used it. And uh, I, 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 I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I enjoy Pastor Paul Begley's uh, theological insight into prophecy. He knows the Bible uh very well. I don't care if you believe in uh, what he says or not. Um, I, I just believe that if you're going to put a pastor's, hear me now, and I, I don't care what you say, honestly. Um, it, it's not going to change the way I operate in my life. I, I would never, want, let me put it like this. I would never want my channel to get so big to where it became about me and getting a million views to uh, at the co at what cost? Uh, so so this person they run a news channel and they put out all these little three minute news clips that are usually and then people send me private messages. Did you see this? I saw it the day before. So what they consider breaking news is old news to me. If you're if you're remaining spiritually vigilant, but so I, I began to pray to God this morning. Why why is this bothering so much? God spoke to me clearly. He said, people are more focused on the news and reading the news and finding the news than the good news. Now, whether you want to believe that or not, I choose to believe it. You're more interested in hearing, uh, finding these news channels and promoting the news than you are for standing for the word of God and promoting the good news. And uh, so you've made your channel more about yourself than about him. That's not a ministry, but here's where you got to draw the line. When I go and uh, this person is cussing and swearing on the person hosting pa Pastor Paul Begley, who I believe is a good man with a good heart, uh, where is the respect for our pastors? He's not my pastor. I've never met him. I don't profess to speak for, for him. I'm just bothered by the fact that they hosted a, a video of his with his picture, and all of these people came in with cuss words and swear words. And I jumped right in the middle and said, please stop the potty mouth. See, that's the boldness in me. Uh, and, and, and it began a whole dissension of cussing and swearing. Uh, so you, and then they, and then they, in the thing with God bless you, what? See, I, I, you see what I'm saying? That's not a Christian channel. That's a news channel. If I want a news channel, I can get it anywhere. Christian to me uh, means follower of Christ. Christ like having his attributes wanting to be more like him and and as a minister I go on there and I get attacked with cursing and cuss words and called a, a Zionist extremist and you know what my response with cussing you know what my response was if I'm extreme about anything it's my faith but not once did this the person hosting the channel come to the defense of any pastor or any minister who's professing the good news but why because they, their, their channel is so big that they want more views and more comments. But so uh, if that's if that's a Christian channel, you know what I did? Rather than let it bother me, I just hit unsub. You want to just follow new sites? This is the wrong site for you because what you're going to find here is Minister Paul telling you the truth. If someone came to my channel and put their mouth on a, a, a God-fearing minister or, or pastor or anybody professing Jesus Christ crucified, and and, and, and and began to curse them, I would immediately publicly re rebuke that person and then delete their comment. But they've got sections and sections and sections 
of these breaking news, which was really news from uh, the 6th, by the way, which was four days ago. Um, but but uh, nobody will, uh, just like when the dude came on here and started attacking, two people came on here and started attacking my subscribers. I only had like 100 subscribers, but I got your back. If someone comes on here and attacks you, you can best bet they're going to be shown the door. If they're cursing and swearing, they have no business on this channel. It's time that we wake up and start uh, uh, being contenders for the faith, not to follow the news. We all know what, what Jesus said would happen. We all know Matthew 24, Luke 21, and, and what we're taught about Revelation is good enough to know that the world's coming to an end. But do we have each other's back? Are we on YouTube just to get a million views and, and 100,000 subscribers? At, at what cost? At the cost of pastors and ministers being cursed out as we pretend to look the other way so we can remain popular? No, not on this channel. So let me bring you some news from... Uh, 7-9, which was just updated today. Okay, I just want you to see this. This entry was posted on July 10th. That's today at 2.22 p.m. So I'm bringing you what I found today, not four days ago. And I don't need a million people to follow me on this. I want to tell you what's really happening in the world to real men and women of God. And, and, and nobody seems to care. It's not on any news channel. They're too busy, uh, occupied with themselves, uh, than they are uh, uh, what, what Christ said to be occupied with. Look at this. Arizona, let me go quickly here. It's been six minutes. Arizona pastor goes to jail for hosting home Bible study. Did you hear me? A pastor had to leave his family to go to jail for having a Bible study in his house. Goodbye, family. They're throwing me in jail. Where's that? on your breaking news channel with all the orbs and it's it's pre-trib versus post-trib no you pre-tribbers are going to hell no you post-tribbers are going to hell uh, well no well, we're going to get caught up in the rapture no if you believe in the rapture that's a false doctrine well what do you mean is the when is the rapture going to occur there is no rapture yes there is a rapture that's all nonsense some of you people are just on here in 2012 to be doomsdayers apocalyptic uh, but you don't really even know the Bible yes there is a rapture and I immediately unsub see I ha I can take action over my life this ministry believes there's a rapture and anybody that says there is no rapture isn't uh, rightly dividing the Word of God and and uh, and I, I'm not gonna have no part of their so-called ministry there's a guy on here he says he has nine ministries but I don't hear anything, uh, any fruit of the Christ coming out of his mouth. It's all condemnation and putting everybody down. And I'm not here to put anybody down, and I'm not naming any names. I'm just showing you how ridiculous it gets on YouTube. We're here to preach Christ crucified. That's what the Apostle Paul said. As for me, I just preach Christ crucified. I don't know when Jesus is coming back, but I trust him to come back for me. But I know why we wait for him to come back. I'm not going to argue and debate the, the true doctrine. The message that he left us, read this. I'll put a link to it quickly now. Michael Salmon, I'm telling you, I'm going to do another one to show you why I'm upset about what's going on in my new ministry. Michael Salmon, the pastor from Phoenix who was fined and sentenced to jail for holding Bible studies in his home, started his 60-day jail since at 10 a.m. today. The preacher asked for prayers as he left his wife and six kids to report to Maricopa County Jail. Quote, this is the pastor, I have spent time with my family this morning praying, crying, and saying our goodbye. My heart is broken, but glory to God, Solomon wrote on his Facebook page this morning. Our God will take care of us and my family. Please pray for us. Until God opens this prison door, I will be with you in all prayer and spirit. Now that's a true man of God. Solomon was found guilty of code violations for hosting Bible studies on his 4.6 acre property, which he has been doing for the past seven years. He was sentenced to 60 days in jail, along with three years probation, in order to pay a fine of $12,180. And so now her, her husband, now she's got to fend for her six wives, while her husband not only has to pay a $12,000 fine, but has to go to jail. And you know what he's saying? It's okay because God's getting all the glory. That's a true follower of Christ. You want a million views? 
You see, I know I'll, I'll probably only get 10 views, but I don't care because I'm preaching the truth and I'm unsubscribing from nonsense. And you think that this is just an isolated story? I Googled Bible study at home declared illegal because that happened out here in Yuba City to a couple. And I found it in my local newspaper. So I wanted to show you it's not just an isolated incident of him. There's all kinds of them. People going to jail. Matter of fact, let me uh, just do just do this Google search yourself. You'll find out that Bible studies are being declared illegal in your house. To stu to worship God is now illegal. As we worry and wonder uh, uh, about the signs and and focus on the news. We need to realize people are Christians are being died and murdered and imprisoned around the world for the gospel as we sit in air conditioned houses on internet with $100 uh, laptop computer uh, uh, cameras to just uh, sit here and say how persecuted we are. No, I'll tell you who's persecuted. The guy who's sitting behind bars as his family sits there. Where's dad at? And why is he in jail? Oh, because he preached the gospel. Oh, yeah, that, that'll that preach. That'll get me a million views. See, I don't care how many views I get. I'm about sick of YouTube. Here's another news story from San Juan Capistrino, which is where? San right here. Capistrano couples under fire and headed to California. Georgia, Bible studies Jesus in their homes. The city says the gatherings are illegal. So not see you see Jeff the Nguyen city said it's illegal to have a Bible study. <laughs> In a quiet corner of San Juan Capistrano sits a home that City Hall calls a house of worship. And city leaders want the homeowners to stop their regularly scheduled sessions of Bible study. We're just gathering and enjoying each other's company and fellowship. And uh, we, we enjoy studying. They could have a poker tournament, I bet. With two uh, citations recently with, uh, adding with up 500 to $300. People. Dollars. And if they can sell beer, the that'd be fine. Up, to 500. There was no telephone call, knock on the door. The Frogs say the city is requiring them to get a conditional use permit in order for them to continue with their... Does that not make you want to start a Bible study? Let me, let me just close with this. I'm not here to condemn anybody on YouTube. I'm here to promote Jesus Christ. And along with promoting Jesus Christ comes persecution. I say pray for this man right here. His name is Michael Salmon. In Phoenix, Arizona, our prayers go up to you, sir. And even if this only reaches 10 people, my people are prayer warriors. And to the persons who's allowing the cursing, claiming to be a ministry, and closing every little news bulletin with God bless, you, who are you Who are you asking God to bless? The people who are cursing the pastors and the ministers that are, that are being persecuted? I mean, honestly, so I'm just going to start unsubbing from stuff that is ungodly. We are in the last days, folks, and this is just going to be one of many videos today, but I'm grieved in my spirit that we're more focused on the news than we are on the gospel. Draw closer to Jesus Christ and pray for people like this instead of making all this sensationalism of, of about... Uh, you know, some some orb you seen in the sky that's really just a speck on your video camera. You know, I, I'm not knocking those those type of videos. I I find them interesting, but don't get so focused on on that. You know, it's, you know, it it just really grieves me that someone can uh, have a tornado video and get eight million views because they caught. But yet, someone preaching th that this man went to jail. He went to jail today at 10 a.m. and his wife has to fend for the six kids on her own and he was fine for having a Bible study. This video by the end of the day will only have 10 views. Lady Gaga can put on hamburger meat and go to London and, 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 and spit on a cross of Jesus Christ and blaspheme him and that video will get 7 million views in a week. A baby could get on here and fart and then laugh about it and it would get more views than the world coming to an end and pastors being in prison and, and I'm telling you if you subscribe to my channel and someone comes and curses you out you can best believe that that curse word is getting uh, deleted and that person is going to be privately addressed on why that comment was deleted and, and that, that, that type of uh, action and behavior and language is not welcome on this Christian channel this is a ministry uh, this is Minister Paul signing out, and if I sound a little upset, I am. Be angry, but do not sin. I'm telling you to that to 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 Google search. People are being imprisoned for doing Bible studies, 
And all we seem to care about is getting caught up in all the drama. Did you see the latest story? Stay focused on this, people.